All right, as you can see today, welcome back to the show. As you can see, we're back in Torchlight 2. And immediately, I've got some splaining to do. Um, as you might remember from the end of the last video, we were here in this nice little town of Zarefesh. And what you might also remember is I had close to around 30 grand. Uh, you'll notice it's down to about three grand right now. I have to explain. Uh, after I was done recording the last video, I decided to come back into the game without recording because I was curious about a couple of things. Uh, you'll remember from that video I was messing around with this transmuter guy over here and found it to be kind of underwhelming. Uh, we'll get back to that. But what happened is, I came back into the game, and I talked to this enchanter guy, and I found out that he can actually enchant my stuff with more enchantments than the other guy I found. So you'll notice all my armor here, boots, pants, tunic, or chest, whatever you want to call it, my helmet, shoulder pads, belt, gloves, they all have two enchantments on them now. And so do my guns. This guy can put up to two enchantments on uh, each piece of equipment. So the other guy only was able to do one. So I thought that was the limit for the whole game, which would have sucked, but I guess they were smart enough to figure, no, we let them have practically endless amounts of enchantments in the first game. So we're not going to give them the short end of the stick here. But yeah, so that's why my money's so low. I spent a lot of money enchanting all my armor and my pistols. Now, what I found out about this transmuter guy, and the reason why it was sucking so bad and it wasn't doing what I was thinking it was going to do, is because all I was trying was this one, this one, uh, oh, recipe. And this one recipe was three socketable items. As it turns out, you can actually do other recipes. This one here is any unsocketed item, which would be any of the ember specs or ember chips or any of that. Or no. Those would be the gem of equal or greater value. And the unsocketed item would be like if these pants didn't have anything in the sockets, or this helmet, or the belt, or the gloves. Or if any of these didn't have any sockets, I could combine that with a socketable item like one of those ember chips and I'm guessing what would happen is it would add the enchantment from the socket uh, the ember chip and it would add that enchantment straight onto the piece of armor I guess so there's that uh, recipe you've also got this one which is three health potions I'm gonna guess that creates a big one three mana potions same thing there and then this one is any four unique items. And the unique items, you'll notice, uh, these ones are blue and green on the outline. Unique items have a goldish or a yellowish or maybe what an orangish outline to them. So yeah, uh, I haven't bothered upgrading any of my uh, melee weapons because I won't be using them much. But anyways... So I enchanted my gear, that's why my money's so low, it took a crap load of money, each enchantment was like five grand, or something like that. So I wound up draining my money, and breaking the bank basically. But then I found out, yeah, with, these, with this transmuter guy, I can actually make other stuff, so it might not be as worthless as I had originally thought. But, we've got some stuff to do. As you'll recall from the end of the last video, I spent most of it exploring this desert area down here, and I wasn't able to finish it because the frickin' desert is huge, and I was just racking up time. That video wound up being over an hour, but we're okay, we're gonna stop wasting time and get right into the action here. We, we've got more of the desert to explore, we've got some quests to go into, there's some smaller, uh, like dungeon cave areas to go into for these quests and of course there's the main quest we have to follow which we'll probably save that for last 
I always like to grind through the side quests and gain experience, level up, get some money, upgrade my equipment before I go off and uh, do the main quest. So, but anyways, most of this area is still going to be cleared out because we cleared it out before. There's some stuff up here that we haven't gotten to yet, but it doesn't look like... Okay, this is all new in here. Okay, we got... Ah. Yeah. Oh, instant level up. That was sweet. Yeah, stay up there, I'll shoot you. You can't get me, but I can get you. Let's go ahead and level up. Um, 34, 39, 42, and 40. Well, I also don't like having my stats uneven. So, let's put two into strength. One into vitality, one focus, one dexterity. And then for skills, what to get. I don't know if I want to get any more active abilities because I've already got four. Well, actually, I've already got five. And six if you want to count the nether rim, but that's a spell. And then seven if you want to count that spell as well. Oh, hell. Let's uh, see. This chaos burst sounds interesting. I know, me looking through menus, it's thrilling. Flaming glaives. That sounds cool. Don't want the tangling shot. Bane breath, repulsion hex, death ritual, which will upgrade my shadow link bats. Um, For as much as I use the glaive throw, it is essentially my main skill. I may as well upgrade it. The rapid fire is nice too, but the more I upgrade it, the more mana it takes. It does do more damage that way though. The rune vault is... It's interesting. Ricocheting projectiles. See, that just sounds way too much like my Shadow Shot. Although the Shadow Shot actually home in once it breaks apart, so... I don't know, the Chaos Burst might be okay. I'm kind of interested in its Cursed Daggers, though. That sounds cool. Eh... Dodge Mastery might be a good idea. Um, fuck it. Let's just upgrade the long range again. The longer our range is, the more... It also increases our damage, so that's nice. But the bigger our range is, the further away we can be from the opponents before we actually have to... Or before we can hit them. So... Longer range is good. Oh, these aren't uh, jerkwads. They're somebody with a, a mission for us. Hey, old traveler. A member of our crew had ventured to Zarefesh to obtain a replacement for our Iridian focus. Upon returning, a band of fiendish ratlins attacked him and stole the focus. Could you go to the mesa just north of here and see if you can win the Iridian focus back from those treacherous beasts? Um... I don't get to say yes or no, like... Mesa to the north. Well, that would be this direction. Um, it's probably up on that plateau here. Oh, hey. More scarabs coming out of the ground. And now, with my... Better enhanced pistols, I'm doing a bit more damage. Boards. I'll just shoot those off. Bone pile. Nothing much. There's some ratlins down there, but they're. they can't get to us. 
Holy crap, they're coming out of the woodwork. Suck tornado. Tyus, there's the Iridian focus. Quarter staff, some potions. Shoot that motherfucker. And these fuckers are teleporting, I don't know why. Another waypoint scroll. For some reason, these uh, sundials have waypoint scrolls in them. I don't get that, but whatever. Boar gun. Oh, one of those big cannons. Another quarter staff. And some potions. Let's check the loot. Quarter staff, quarter staff. And the Savage Boar Gun. Yeah. The Iridian Focus, which, that actually sounds funny to me, because the Focus, in the first game, was like a mage's staff. So, I guess they just decided to change the name to something else. Uh, not only that, but because it's a quest item, it's not actually in my inventory. There, That way I can't accidentally sell it, because that was actually a problem in the first game. A lot of the times people would send you to find pieces of iridium, and those were the socketables. So you would wind up with these things in your inventory, and you could accidentally sell them or socket them into one of your weapons or armor, and so that would screw over you turning in that quest. Now, they were side quests, so they weren't really all that important, but, you know, for people like me who are obsessive-compulsive about that kind of stuff... But anyways, moving on, trying to fill in the rest of the dang map. It's just a little bitty area up here that's not fully put in. Oh. And of course these ugly ratlings. And more scarabs coming out of the ground. They're dead. Another ratlin executed. This has been so long since the last video, I don't even remember where I'm going in this crap. Let's bring up the map. Okay, so there's this nice big open area here that's not filled in. So we go down this way. And uh, if we continue along this section, that looks like the only part of the map we have. In oh, wait, there's a little area over here, too. There's probably something down here as well. But if we continue on in this direction, we'll get the map back into place there. But if we continue on in this direction, this will take us to the part of the map that we haven't filled in yet. Another skull, nothing in it. Somebody's empty skull. I guess that's why they died. They didn't have the brains to survive. Eh. More of these weird crystal things. Oh. More war beasts. Oh. Slam them fuckers. Alright. Throw in their spider mines. More identify scrolls. You shut up, douche. Oops, spider mines. You guys need to stop stealing that friggin' thing. Rescued some people. Zerify guards. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Well, a pistol that's pretty much the same as the ones I have, only it doesn't have any socket sockets or enchantments. So it's pretty pointless. Pants aren't as good as mine. Or a big friggin' hammer, which I don't use. But the hammer's worth the most money, so we'll take that. Skeletons! Stop talking to that guy, I don't care. Another skull over here. Mana potion. 
There was another group of guys back here that we saved. We'll talk to this guy. You're welcome. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Another pair of pants, still not as good. A shield, which we don't use. Or a bow that we also do not use. And once again, the bow is what's more uh, valuable, so we'll take that. Patchwork skull cap. Boards and a bone pile. Alright, tried to get him to go, couldn't figure it out. Oh yeah, we can shoot out the boards, then we can get the bone pile, there's nothing in it. And we just shot that thing through a wall. That's okay. I won't tell if you don't. Bunch of money, there was nothing in that urn. More boards to shoot off in an urn. And again, shoot that through the wall. And that one, and that one. Have him go over there to that bone pile. Oh, uglies! They come up out of the sand. They're like zombies, only they're not undead. Oh, and this guy with his shield. Dash. Screw you. Douche. Please take this. Another... Oh, no, wait. That's shoulder pads. They're not as good. A necklace. Not as good. Or another quarter staff. And again, that one's the most valuable, so we'll go with that. Now, who's this guy? Welcome, my friend. If you have the time. Crossbow of skill, bone crossbow, or a rare shotgun with a melee blade. The only problem is I don't have the required level of dexterity. I honestly was hoping to find one of these shotguns. I don't know. I think I might already have one in storage. Well, uh, the pet tag might be useful. Because the one that I have only does, or gives him electrical armor, that level 11 one. But it also gives 25 electric armor. Now I'm going to get 22 electric armor with this new one. But then I'd lose the 27 fire damage and the 2 health steal to master on hit. I don't know. I don't know, I think I have enough health recovery. I don't need him stealing it for me. And he could probably use the extra physical armor. Plus, I'm pretty sure I do have one of these shotguns in storage. And I'm just waiting to get the dexterity for it. Because they all require ridiculously high dexterity. Let's go with the pet tag. Greetings, you. Have a mission for you, and he'll give me another pet tag. Or some gloves, or some boots. Well, my boots are a little bit better, and so are my gloves. Another beast tag. Which would probably be better than the one I even just got, but whatever. You have a new quest. And... Crap. That one was the one I was going to take off. So we'll take that one off, and we'll put this cool pet tag on. Okay, so he wants me to go do something. I'm not even really sure what. I didn't read it. All my quests are over here, so I'm sure it's over there somewhere. We got more of the map to fill in over this way yonder. More of these sand douches. Gotta get that sand out of your vagina. Eh. Okay, there's something up in this direction, but we can't get over there this way. So we probably have to go out and around, yeah. We go out and around this way. There's another one of those crevasses. Probably for one of the things, one of the quests, I'm not sure. Holy crap, look at all the money. Flame Ember chip and some more money. 
Okay, we'll go up in here. Dead adventure with nothing in it except for a snake and a bug. Two snakes and a bug. And again, there really wasn't anything all that interesting up here. Just a little winding path that goes up and through here. Promise you, fishing hole. I should probably do that one of these days. I have missed so many of these fishing holes because I've just been, you know, I just completely forget about them. Who needs to fish? I find plenty of stuff. Okay, so yeah, this is the end of the map down here, but there are some quests. Up here, there was a part of the map I need to explore. And the Sphinx is part of the main quest, yeah. So... Yeah. If we follow the path... This should all be filled in, so I shouldn't need to worry about having my map out. Another fishing hole, or maybe that's the same one, I'm not sure. But it's up in this direction. Yeah, I remember I was over here in the last video, but I didn't go in because there were enemies and they were up on cliffs. Stygian, eerie, eerie something or other. Whatever, put the map back where it goes. Let's get ready here. Oh, big scare. Suck on that tornado! Shoot your bitch ass scarab ass. Lots more money. Another flame ember chip and a fire amulet. These guys seem to have like a cloaking for some reason. Oh, it's Bone Cloud Summon. He dropped some cool stuff. Well, I doubt it was really all that cool. There was a potion, there was a piece of armor and something else. More chips, flame ember chips, we'll hang on to those. This necklace does 45 fire armor, but I like my necklace what it's doing right now because it's giving me 9 each in all 4 elements, plus it's buffing my health and giving me 19 extra physical armor, which this new necklace would not do. So we'll pass on those. A pair of boots, crap. Here's some ice armor, but the one that I have is also giving me 23 electric armor. So if I got rid of that, my electric armor would go down by 23 points. And all four of the elements are over 50 in how much resistance I have. Plus it only gave me four extra ice, so it's probably not worth it. Still no spells. Alright, let's continue exploring this area. Of course, to the Stygian Airy. So I'm just glad it's not the Stygian Abyss. Anyways. A bone pile. Nothing in it. Another bone pile, nothing in it. Another sundial with another scroll in it. Identify scroll. A bone pile, still nothing. I don't think I have any quests to go down into this place, so I don't really see the point. Sure, I'll probably have a bunch of monsters to fight. And I'm at level 25, so this place is 22 to 26. I'd probably steamroll it. Well, we ex explored that place, and that's all of the map. Or at least in here. So, bring the map down again. We already talked to that guy. He was the guy that wanted us to... Oh, who the hell knows. 
But there's something on here. Tower of the Moon. And that's what I think this Narasus guy wants. And then down here, One Man's Trash. The Tarox Rift. Okay, whatever. Okay, well, we're gonna go down here. I'm sure after I uh, do some other stuff that I might end up getting the other quests to go into these other places and actually give them a purpose besides just being dungeons to crawl and get loot and level up and stuff. I don't know. I'm not psychic or anything. More walking. This whole place has been cleared out. So there's probably not going to be many enemies, if any. More walking. Again, I wish I had that haste spell. Okay, so here's this. Let's put the map back up in the corner where it goes. Iridian for Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was over by those guys, wasn't I? And I didn't bother to turn this into them. I'm an idiot. Well, we're here for this one already, so we're just going to go ahead and finish that. We'll turn the two of those in at the same time, then. Oh, boy. Nothing quite like Dark Bank Caves, which is basically what we spent the whole first game roaming around in. Yeah, that was one thing they wanted to improve about this second game. In the first game, you're basically just going down a mine shaft the entire game. You got floor after floor after floor in this mine shaft. Until you finally hit the bottom where you end up coming across the boss. That's. Unidentified ring, electric ring, no, oh, champ master, whatever. Okay, we got some more stuff, let's check it out. Uh, ooh, 15 to ice, fire, and poison. Plus 10% to fire damage and 5 mana. Yeah, I don't think that's really going to be all that good. It's a shame I couldn't have found two of those that do exactly the same thing, because then it would be 30 ice, fire, and poison. But then I'd need something, something to do with electric. Oh, well, there's that, but... And I don't think we're going to be keeping this one either. Some potions, or uh, scrolls. Giant health potion. Big health potion. Regular health potion. Regular mana, big mana. I haven't found any giant health yet. Oh, and I've got 99 of the big health potions, plus 5, so that's 104. I could probably go ahead and sell some of those, because I'm not going to need that many. <sighs> Anyways. I'm sure all this talking and not doing anything is really exciting. Man, I didn't catch that before I killed him. Mana Wisps. Weren't those the ones we were fighting before, the little circles? These ones look greenish with like a crystalline sort of figure to them. Mana burned Ezroher. I think that's one of those desert guys, the Ezrohers, but it's, he's uh, ember bound or something. Okay, we'll get 
him to shut up. Completely missed, even though I was aiming at him. Ah, oh, boy. More rattlings. Oh, whoa! This guy's trying to bring the fucking ceiling down. Nah, nah, nah. We don't need you doing that. We're gonna have to stop you. So I'm taking damage. Can that get put out, please? Thank you. Some more money. like a zombie, what the hell? More of these dang ratlins. Was almost kinda hoping we were done with those guys once we'd fought them all, all that time ago. Those seem like like level one enemies, you know, they're like, oh they're little they're like uh trying to think of. I can't remember. Fang rod. I identify gloves and a gladius. Oh. Mystical Ezroher gloves. I need more vitality, but and they don't really do all that much physical armor. Well, I actually add six, so that would be twelve, technically. Plus two ice, fire, electric, and poison damage, or armor. Also buffs my strength by four and my mana by twelve. Well, I do like the way they look. I think I have a pair of gloves waiting on me back at, in storage anyways, so... Gladius. A vampiric gladius. on that. Ugh. Sorry if I'm not saying it uh, much. I'm recording this kind of late and I'm feeling kind of groggy. It's about time for me to be going to bed. It's another one of those armadillo things with the armor on them. That armor did a fat lot of good, didn't it?
plate fell. Well, that's cool. Don't try to run up on me, you bitch. I'll jack your shit up. Link command. And these stupid uh, jackal beasts. Hey, I got another level up. Cool. Red scale gloves. They don't really look all that red. They look more brown. Boots. Eh. Oh, that's a plate belt. That's funny because it looks like leather to me. 17 of ice and fire, but mine's doing 12 of all four. So I'll pass on those. Those as well. Still no spells. Don't know why I'm expecting spells. They don't pop up all that often. Help. Wow. Well, I just found the ember chip I'm going to be putting in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do have a new pair of gloves waiting for me in storage. I'm not sure if I... <sighs> Probably wasn't high enough to use them. Stats or level. Stats, normally. But, uh... Pretty sure I had bought a pair of gloves that I wasn't able to use at the moment. But I knew they had a socket on them, or at least I think they did. So I was thinking, oh, well, I can, uh... I can do this. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking wrong, I'm not sure. Like I said, I am kind of tired, so I may not be thinking all that clearly. Okay, we get all this taken out. Oh, we got uglies. Screw the uglies. Oh, and there's supposed to be some gem I'm supposed to place here. That wasn't my blood gem. No, okay. This is going to awaken some big boss monster, isn't it? Yep. Big lich from the looks of it. The mana forged. Oh, great. Oh, crap. still alive. Rift Ember. Quest complete. Oh, I was supposed to pick that up. And again, that is a quest item, so it won't actually appear in my inventory. So I don't accidentally use it or sell it or anything like that. But anyways. Uh, wait, there's a little thing over here. That was nothing, though. Alright, well, we're done. Let's get out of here. Through the little porter, back to the surface. Oh, and I leveled up. This loading screen, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but this loading screen's telling me I've got five unspent stat points and one unspent skill point. Don't know if, if it's showing the loading screen, because I've been noticing it has a tendency to do that. It doesn't like showing the loading screens. I don't know why. But again, everything's way higher than our strength. Uh, wait a second, though. 
Is those gloves? Yeah, these gloves. Vitality. And that's going to take a while to level that up anyways, so. Like before, we'll do strength. One and everything else. Skills. I'll try not to drag this out for too long. said I wouldn't take too long. It's it's so hard for me to decide. I can't upgrade my long range thing again until level 32. Let's go with the akimbo then. Help our dual wielding. That's cool. Okay, so we completed that quest. And... Let's go this way. to talk to that dude. Okay, he's probably got the quest that I just completed. And then the, down there in the Tower of the Moon is something else we can do. Uh, hold on. Let me go see if I can talk to that. No, Musafar, I think, was the guy who told me to go to the Moon Tower. I'm not even really sure. Let's see. The Tower of the Moon. Right. So that's not him. This is a quest. Let me guess. The one quest that I had completed... Well, actually, there's only one quest, apparently, that I've completed. Eh, I don't give a damn. We'll continue walking up through here. Another fishing hole. Wish they'd mark those on the map. Okay. So, he's going to let me keep that Rift Ember anyways, but all it does is increase my charge rate if I put it in an armor, or if I put it on a weapon, I steal mana on hit. Which, yeah, I guess that's okay, but like, yeah, hell, whatever. Tower of the Moon, we can probably do that. Tell you what, we'll go through this place, and we'll possibly turn this quest in, and that'll probably be it for this episode of the video. Like I said, I'm groggy. I take sleeping pills to help me go to sleep, and I've already taken one, so that's probably why I'm feeling so groggy. Ah, you ugly zombie looking bitches. Money. Another D bag in an urn. Oh, there's a health potion. Whoa, what the hell did he just shoot at me? You like that? Suck on that.
prison key, the Eye of Jithum Kasim, Mysterious Gloves. And these are the yellowish, goldish, rare items that I was talking about earlier. So. What the hell? There's a gong on the wall. I'm guessing that has some sort of significance to open up a secret room or something. There's probably more of them. And if I find all of them, I get a secret room or a bonus prize or something. This guy's got a quest. You feeling a little lucky? Oh, I know what this guy is. In the first game, there was a guy in town where. You've probably seen this in other games like this. The uh, Diablo 2 had it, I know that. But essentially, he's a character who will... Uh, it's, it's like gambling, basically. You... He's like any other merchant, but the stuff that he sells is unidentified. So you could potentially be wasting a crap load of money on something that may turn out to be crap. So that's the gamble. Okay, well, um... I've already run these two... gong things. I don't think there's any more of them. I didn't see any more of them on the walls. Oh wait, here's one. That's three. That one we already got. Blood leather boots. Does that mean they already have the, um... Oh, that opens this gate over here. To a chest. Some money. Oh, this is a secret room. Oh! Another one of those robot pieces. Okay. Finally, we find another one of those pieces, this robot parts thing. I'm really hoping this guy turns out to be like a companion. A guy that'll follow you around, help you in combat and stuff. That would be really cool. Stepped on another bug there, whatever. We got some stuff. We got this rift ember, I guess we can hang on to that. That wouldn't actually be as good because mine's 23 as well, but it also has plus 11 to physical uh, armor. So we'll pass on that. Blood leather boots. Oh, it's part of a set. But I don't have the requirements for it. Plus, my boots are better anyways because it's 10 plus 9 physical armor, which would be 19, and this one only does 12. Plus 5 to ice damage, charge rate increased by 5%, and plus 5% chance to execute. Well, again, no. No. Interesting. We'll hang on to that. We got some mysterious gloves. Brugeria bracers. Oh, arm guards to ward off hexes and curses as well as blades. Well, those are better than my gloves, and they have an empty socket, which I could... Oh, wait, I can't equip them. Oh, requires the Ember Mage class. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to probably start an Ember Mage soon enough. I'll hang on to those and twink them on over, because that doesn't look like something that I will definitely come across. So I'll twink that on over, and I could put this Blood Ember thing into it, but I'm not going to. But anyways, pet's getting full, so we're gonna go ahead and, s well, let's wait until we talk to this dude and turn it in to get the reward, then we'll send him to town. And like I said, I think that's gonna be it for this video. We made some progress, we kicked a lot of ass, we made some money back after I spent all of mine on enchantments and stuff, but it was worth it, I'd like to think so at least. 
more enchant en enchantments make my pistols do more damage, makes my armor more effective at blocking damage, and, you know, other stuff that it does, other buffs that it gives me, which is cool. So that's all good. More walking. Oh, wait, it's over here. We gotta go around. Actually, no, it looks like I could have went that way. I was just an idiot. Um, okay, well... Again, this dog tag is pretty good. Uh, I'd lose a whole bunch of electric armor, but I'd add one in physical armor, and then you get seven to poison, ice, and fire, as well as electric. Gloves. Whoa. Well, actually, no, because the ones I have is plus five, so that'd be 15 versus 14. Plus, the gloves I already had had health recovery per second, I just added more. Increasing the amount of experience gained, I've got that buff twice, so that's 2% increase. And then three strength. Let's check these boots. I can't use them anyways. Let's just go with the pet tag. Now, did I want to give that to him? Yeah, okay. So there's that. You found Iridian Fo Oh yeah, the Iridian Focus. Where were those dudes that had that quest? Um, yeah, see this is why it would have been good if it was an actual quest that was marked on the map. These guys are nowhere to be found. I don't remember where the hell they were. Or no wait, weren't they up in that one place over here that I explored? I think so. Oh god. Getting real groggy right now. Hope that doesn't lead anywhere. Oh wow, I kind of overshot it by a ways. What's this supposed to be? Oh. oh yeah, I put that in there to blah. Doesn't matter. Oh, I could have. Yeah. Were those guys over here? No, actually, no, I don't think they were. Where the hell were those guys? Again, I wish this was a real quest that was marked on the map. This is just like. Like, this is even below the level of being a side quest. Cannot for the life of me remember where those guys were. Feels like freaking ages ago is when I talked to him. Oh no, wait. No, no. There's that one guy. Shit, hit the button by mistake again. I keep doing that. My finger keeps slipping and hitting the right uh, mouse button. Where the hell were those guys, man? Oh, Jackal Beasts. Didn't think there were going to be any enemies in here. I'm going to spend hours trying to find these guys just because I have no clue where the hell they are. Bring the map back up here. That might help. Jesus. This place is so big and so... T it's like a tangled web of explorable... Here they are. Sheer stroke of luck, I managed to find them. Yay! Whatever. 
Got a bow, which I don't use. We got a ring, which I won't use. And a shotgun. Shotgun's worth the most. We'll take that. Yay, and I got a skill point for that. Can't do a Kimbo again. That's a shame. Poison Burst and the Dodge Mastery would probably be a good idea. Something like that. Okay, so that's all handled, and we're not too far from the town. Send him ahead. Oh yeah, and that's over here. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, back this way. Through here. To the town. And like I said, I do believe that's gonna be all of it for this video. I can feel myself fading real bad. He meets me in town. Give me 2107. Let's... T oh, yeah. See, here's the gambler, dude. Seller of unidentified items. So, yeah, it's a gamble on what you're buying. You don't know what it's going to be. You have to buy it and then waste a scroll to identify it. And it may not even be that good. Hail, hero. Oh, I probably should have sold this sold this shotgun. Let's see. That's a shield. We don't use those. Boots. Not all that great. Not all that great. Pants. These are the best ones. 24 plus... Oh, 34 physical damage. Reflected. Oh, the ones I have are just doing 60 physical damage reflected. So they're actually better. So never mind those. Gloves. As row her gloves of mystery. Interesting. We got these Grand Wazir gloves. Part of the Wazir set. Interesting. Shoulders. What are these? Oh, these are shoulders too. More Wazir. I don't have the Vitality, which needs to be through the friggin' roof. Agile linen shoulders. Mine are actually doing 20 because of the buff. So those probably not so good. Armor, 30. But that's 23 plus 11, which would be 34. Those are only 21. And those are the Ezroher. I like that purple. And that would be perfect for me because I'm supposed to be role-playing as the Phantom. I need some purple armor. Ugh, but it's so far down on the physical armor. Mana recovery per second. And then a crown, as opposed to a helmet. Yeah. Any good weapons? Pistols, he's got another shotgun. Another one with the uh, melee blade. Pistol. That's actually less than what mine's doing. military shotgun. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything worth buying. Well, let's go back over here and find our twink chest. Shared stash. We'll put those gloves in it for our ember mage. And that'll work out fine. Brondonian, oh yeah, that's for engineer. And all this other cool stuff. Yeah. And in the regular stash, we do have some gloves. Which aren't really all that great. Why was I hanging on to these? 3.5 health recovery. Thir oh, 13 to physical armor. So that's 13 plus 7, which would be 20. And the ones I'm using are only 15. 
but I'm jumping the gun because I need a crap load of vitality for these. And I have some armor, which I need more focus. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I do have one of these uh, melee blade shotguns, but I need to have 65 dexterity. Great. So we got more of the flame chips. Um, running out of room here. The eye of what's his face. Blood chip. And this rift ember. got two of these skulls, which are unique, and this eyeball, which is unique, and that lucky coin, which is also unique, and then I have that one recipe at the enchanter, or the transmuter, which needs four uniques, so I'm thinking maybe those would work. What would it do, though? Would it just add all the enchantments together? That would be cool. Well, whatever. I have nothing else to sell, there's nothing really worth buying. Um, Be welcome. She's got potions, scrolls, dynamite. Oh yeah, I suppose I could sell some of my potions, because I've got a crap load of those. I don't need these extra five big potions. So you can sell those. Right. So we've got all of that stuff. Nothing else to buy from him. There's nobody really of importance anywhere down here from the looks of it. By the way, how much money did we make? Well, we're back up over 10 grand, so that's good. Right. Anyways, like I said, oh yeah, we take him back to the Enclave, that's cool. Like I said, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Still haven't been able to find anybody to join in with me, that would be cool. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching. This has been another rambling, incoherent mess with me. Thanks for putting up with me. See you guys later.